It was only a matter of time, people. Well, let's do this. Hello, Internet, and welcome to another unboxing video with Romney, this time with an actual sponsor. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, even I have been pulled into the Loot Crate game. The nice people over at Loot Crate approached me and wanted me to do an unboxing of their February crate, and I'm actually pretty excited because they got this to me the week of my birthday, so happy early birthday to me. Or late birthday. Honestly, it depends on what time you're watching this, but I'm never going to tell you the exact day. So, yeah. For those of you not in the know, Loot Crate is a monthly subscription service where every month they send you a mystery box filled with geeky swag that is tied around a central theme. And the combined value of all the swag that is in the box usually totals to about $60 or $65. Now, this is for the base Loot Crate, which is what I was given. And to mark another first for the unboxing videos, aside from the first video with an actual sponsor, is also the first video with a multicam setup. As you will see right now, this camera is my Logitech web camera that I use for geek news reviews and opinions, the podcast that I'm on with my friends. And so I have it set up here so that way you can get up close and personal with all the swag that is inside this box. Now, I don't remember what the theme for February is, so your guess is as good as mine as to what franchises are featured as well as what is in the box. I'd make a reference to the film 7, but I haven't actually seen the film 7. It's on my list, right up there with The Godfather. Now, enough bad stand-up, enough bad jokes, let's get to opening this box up and seeing what's inside. Luckily, they provided us with a nice handy little punch thing here, so let's go ahead and see if I can get this open. Do I pull it? Do I peel it? How do I open you? This might be a while, folks. So, I thought this was a punch thing you could punch open, but I was wrong. So, here we go. Alright. So, I'm seeing the loot bot interior. As you can see, right here. I'm showing this to the webcam people. So, you got your friendly little loot bot. And the first thing that I see is some sort of Batman food container. Let me just pull this out. Alright, so that's literally what it says is a food container, and it's got the Batman face here. I'm gonna go ahead and move this box so we can actually see what is inside here. So, we have... Alright. So, ooh! Almost dropped it there. So what we've got here looks like some sort of Tupperware container themed around Batman coming from Zack Designs. Not a company I've heard of. All right, so let's get this into the close-up here. So it looks like you screw off the ears like so. And this is where you put your food in. All right, so this looks like it's meant for preheated or pre-chilled food. So basically, it's kind of like a giant thermos that is basically the head of Batman. All right, item number two. We've got some sort of pajama pants. And I believe I recognize the design here. Okay, it's not pajama pants. It's actually a shirt. And it is a... Oh, it's the Megazord. And it looks like the original Zoo Ranger dinosaur-themed Megazord. And it basically is schema it's a t-shirt that is basically the schematics of the Megazord. This is actually pretty cool. And for those of you wondering, yes, I know that it's not technically called Zoo Ranger, but it's the Zoo. It's it's Daijujin. That's the original mecha, it's the Megazord. Basically the original season one Daijujin dinosaur megazord. So you've got let's see, you've got I think believe that one's the Mastodon. You've got Nope, that's the Mastodon. I guess they're both Mastodon, actually. So yeah, you've got the two Mastodons. Sabertooth Tiger, Triceratops, and then you've got Tyrannosaurus, and on the chest plate you've got the Pterodactyl. So, a very cool Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord schematic shirt, complete with assembly instructions should you ever come across your own version of the Megazord. Which, chances are, if you're coming across your own version of the Megazord, you can also breathe on the moon. So next what we've got is a LEGO Dimensions toy. Which, for those of you who don't know, LEGO Dimensions is basically LEGO's answer to Disney Infinity that ultimately won the war since, well, poor Avalanche closed their doors. So, let's go ahead and assemble this quickly using movie magic. Ah, 
All right, well, that is the best I can do for assembling the spaceship because I don't have the patience to try continuing. So let me just get this a little bit more in focus. And there we go. So yes, there is Spaceman Benny and his half-finished spaceship. Next up, we've got what appears to be a flexible magnet sheet themed around Tetris, the incredibly fun Russian puzzle game that took the world by storm back in the 80s. And, well, it's still pretty fun today. I mean, I still play Tetris time and time again, so yeah, this is pretty cool. So I'll just have to actually find a place I can put them without frying all my electronics. That's why I'm not opening it just yet, but hey, this is pretty cool. They look like they're actually interlocking pieces, so if I ever want to make a Tetris stop motion, I now have the tools to do so. And then next we've got... Okay, looks like we've got a nice little card. I'll save this for last. So next we've got... Secret Order of Keys. Hmm. This looks like another mystery thing that I'll have to look into. Because I sure don't get it. And for those of you who need a little close-up, here's what it looks like as best as I can show on the webcam. Yes, the secret order of the keys. Unlock the mysteries, lootcrate.com slash keys. Not sure what this is referring to, so I'll have to go and find out. And then we've got this thing, which is a handy little Megazord pin to go with the shirt, and it even explains what the theme is. So apparently February 2017's theme was build, meaning that everything is themed around the idea of building. So thus the Legos, thus the Megazord shirt, and this handy little Megazord pin to celebrate the upcoming movie, I assume. Huh, and it even says it unlocks something epic, which I'll have to take a look at. It probably unlocks something on Loot Cray's website. I'm still new to this, so I'll have to look into it, but hey, I'll let you know what I find out. Hopefully, maybe, who knows? And here we have a handy little booklet that goes more into depth into the theme, which is build. So it says, how to become a master builder, which celebrities appeared in Power Rangers, and we talked to a video game indie designer, Jonathan Straw. So it looks more kind of like a magazine, but huh. Now this is something I did not realize. Apparently the box can be shaped into something different. Well, time to use movie magic once again to see what this can build. Lo and behold, we have a loot bot. That I'll probably have to take closed, as I may have screwed up part of the assembly process, but yeah, that's actually pretty cool. It turns into a little robot friend. I'm probably gonna get some mileage out of this as a prop. All right, now for this last little card thing that I was saving towards the end. All right, thanks to support from looters like you, we've built Loot Crate from a small garage-based company to what it is today. We're celebrating our fifth anniversary this year with a new logo designed to be like a window into the world, stories, and characters we all love. Uniting all our crates under a single brand, we can't wait to build even more great memories with you. We love you, Chris and Matthew, co-founders of Loot Crate. Aww. So that was the February build crate, and while it's too late to order this particular crate with this little buddy here, it is not too late to sign up for the next crate coming out in March. March's theme is Primal, and will feature such franchises as X-Men, Overwatch, and Predator in all the loot included. And, well, if you go to the link in the description, lootcrate.com slash studio ghost, not only will you save 10% on your first purchase, but you will be really, really helping to support this channel, and helping to make sure I'm able to make more videos in the future, even beyond just the unboxing. So, once again, that link is lootcrate.com slash studio ghost, and you don't even have to get Loot Crate. Loot Crate has many other products, so if you're into gaming, they've got Loot Gaming. If you want just the clothing, they have Loot Wear. And if you're into anime, they've also got Loot Anime. And I mean, if you're a wrestling fan, you've also got the WWE Slam Crate. They've got the Firefly Cargo Crate. They've got the Hello Kitty Crate. Many, many crates to cater to many different tastes. You can apply that 10% discount to the crate of your choice. As for me, I've got all this new swag as well as a mystery to uncover. So yeah, that's going to do it for today. So what did you think of the video? Should I do more unboxing videos like this in the future? Should they be standalone or part of a longer video? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, this is Romney signing out.